Ladies and gentlemen, we're kicking off a new series. You like that? Hold on. Look at that impact. That is the weight of two giant bags. All right, anyways. Folks, Rudy, thank you for agreeing to do this. A big fan of the channel. For your viewers, this gentleman, by the way, this guy's name is George. He owns a small LGS in old South Carolina there that serves the men and women of the military as they train to serve on nuclear submarines. Oh, my. We were one of the very first stores to try flesh and blood and certainly the first to carry the game at significant scale. I remember we started with one case and ordered 500 boxes and just a few months later, due to demand. If your viewers wouldn't mind signing up for our newsletter to be told when unlimited restocks and Monarch opens for pre-orders, we appreciate it. Website's fleshandblood.com. Man, you got lucky getting that website. Man, talk about a registration home run. Which should just show how early we believed in the game. Yeah, seriously. Also, as you know, we're working on doing cool things to help the Duke ALS Institute. This is currently, there is currently no known cause or cure for 90% of ALS cases. And Duke is working hard to overcome this. We've raised 2.9 million, holy potatoes, over the last three years. And are just 600,000 short of our goal. So... I appreciate any of your viewers wanting to donate to Duke's ALS Institute. If any viewer wants to donate, please go to the www.gifts.duke.edu for the, I believe that's the actual official uh, university address, by the way. Put ALS in the search bar and you'll go right there. The cards will be auctioned off on our website again at fleshandblood.com and 100% of the proceeds will go to the Institute. The winners will also get a special surprise from one of our stores, a token of thank you. Well, George, you got very good intentions, my friend. Wish you the best and everything, and that is definitely a uh, that's definitely one of those topics, man. That you know, at least is going to a good cause and the university and the research and everything. And so, what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, today is I did not pay for these boxes, by the way. I am not keeping these boxes. I'm not keeping the cards that we pull from the boxes, ladies and gentlemen. So essentially, since I have no other flesh and blood videos or anything coming out anytime soon, we're going to crack one flesh and blood of George's boxes. Essentially, maybe what? Maybe once every week or two as we approach Monarch. Since we got like two months to, to kill in time, that's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to crack a box about every 10 days. And hopefully, I mean anything, I don't, even Majestic, any any form of non-cold foil common card would make me happy. But again, even a cold foil common, it, it has value. We really can't complain too much. So again, Crucible of War is probably one of my more favorite products. It's... Second, I still like uh, I still like Arcane the best, but Crew is definitely my second favorite. So let me get back in the swing. It's been a long time since I've cracked these. I believe it's one, two, three, four, five, six commons, seven commons I think, and then I can't I cannot remember. Okay, I'm sorry. And then the foil common, and then it go. Okay, yes, I was like the order's different. It drives me crazy. So foil common combustible carriers our first one there. And then we get the rare, and then the rare. Okay, so then, it, okay. I was like trying to remember the order here. So I guess we can kind of change it up a little bit here. So that's kind of the goal here. We, you know, any, So remember, keep that in mind, folks. Technically not sponsored, didn't get any money for this, but at the same time, I'm opening these and sending the cards back for him to do as he pleased. With it. So I guess some people just take, what, the back three cards off the pack? And that kind of how it works? And then these are all commons, right? You get your hero card in the back. So essentially, then you can just take these three, and boom, you get your foil. Okay, so you get your foil common out for blood. And of course, you get yourself a nice rare and a nice rare reinforce and crane dance. I guess we can. I have. I don't know if I want to do the flip thing. That's kind of a weird way to do it. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on, folks. And uh, at least we got some supply here. Three, four, five, six, seven. And we can actually enjoy. There's our very first rainbow foil rare of the box, ladies and gentlemen. Nice little cash in rare. And there is a nice little saber rare. So at least we got some products of Flesh and Blood we can actually crack since Monarch is flipping not till May. So we got flipping February, March, and we got like two months to do this. So holy smokes, man. We got a long time. So we got ourselves Foil Common, Hit and Run. Foiling looks very nice in this batch. And uh, two rares. You'll Promise of Plenty and Rock Slide Trap. So I guess we can put old Brock. I, does he need his own pile? I guess we can just leave him in the commons, honestly. Uh, but yeah, it'd be really nice. I mean, I've seen, so some of these boxes have no cold foils, and some of these boxes have up to three cold foils. No joke. So there's a foil rare, beautiful high-speed impact. Love the foil rare on that. And up, really, high-speed, we got the yellow pitch, and now here's the uh, th the, the blue pitch back-to-back. -back. 
and two more rares. All right, come on. So close, man. I, I'm just like, I, the more we get into the box, I'm like, oh man, I know there's a cold foil coming. I oh, love, God, I love that room blood, man. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Ah, foil common, consuming venation. That is gotta be some wild provocative artwork, man. Oh, Majestic, hello. Look what we got here, Aetherite, Majestic Wizard. Holy smokes. Our very first Majestic non-foil of the box there. That caught me off guard. I'm not, I'm not familiar, I'm not used to, and like I said, I'm not familiar, used to, or anything with Wizard. I'm, that's like not one of the classes I am uh, very familiar with, just so everybody knows. All right, here we go. All right, come on, baby. Ah, really? Blessed Serenity for the common. Rare. Ah. <laughs> the young here, a good old trader of skin. That is a creepy flipping merchant, man. Holy smokes, that is a creepy merchant. All right, nothing crazy yet. Come on. Nothing crazy yet. Come on. Cold foil still at large, everybody. Cold foil still at large. Here we go. Yeah. Foil common. Increase the tension. Another rushing river and a nice little needle. Nice little ninja weapon there. That is the left, I think that's the left facing needle. I think that's one of the ones that has the left and the right, by the way, just so everybody knows. Come on, here we go. Look at that. It's so crazy to see old Ira Crimson Haze not in the welcome deck, man. Oh, is there a little mark on there? Nope, oh, dust. It's so crazy to see that. All right, and a rare, and oh, that was a foil, I'm sorry. Rare and a rare. I just wanna get something crazy, man. Oh my God, I know that cold, I can feel like, any moment we're going to hit that cold foil, man. It's coming. Here we go. Ooh, the rune chant token for our actual foil common. Those actually have some value, by the way. We got ourselves some skies for the rare and high speed impact for the rare. Man, so all we got was one majestic so far and a couple foil rares. Man, this is we, this is not a home run box yet. We are starting off a little weak here. Four, five, six, seven. Hello. Hello. That is what we are looking for, Beast Within Foil Majestic. Very, very nice, our very first Foil Majestic. Oh, I thought we had a cold foil, oh my goodness, okay. <sighs> okay, and too rare, oh my god, I thought we had a cold foil, everybody. I was like, oh my god. All right, sorry if the lighting seems a little off, everyone. We got some really bad weather, and it's kind of cloudy and super crazy rain out there, so hopefully the lighting's not a little too weird for you. Oh, go, oh! whoa. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> okay. Oh my God, look at this pack. Holy crap. Flippin' Majestic Massacre. Oh, Gambler's Glove. Cold Foil. <sighs> and uh, what was the top of that? Were some scratches or is that, is that dust? Uh, I, I, think, I think those are light scratches actually. Um, oh man, the condition is wacky on this thing. Oh my goodness, what is going on with this thing? Sorry, but I got some wacky conditions for you. Well, we hit a cold foil gambler's gloves. Phenomenal, excellent, excellent hit. I believe those were four to $600 a card. Absolutely home run hit. But oh my God, there's some definite, uh, unfortunately we got a little bit of factory wear on the card, but man, absolutely awesome. Awesome cold foil hit everybody. Holy crap, foil common for the workshop. And oh, majestic snag, everybody. And a regular rare. Man, gambler, that's the second time we've hit a gambler's gloves on this channel, remember? The patron who did a um, a crew uh, box opening way at the beginning. That was like the first uh, cold foil I think we actually hit. You guys remember? Oh, the data doll, the old mecha. Oh my God, that card is so gorgeous. That is so cool, man. Foil rare for the young here. Oh God, every time I see that equipment like that, I'm like, oh. <gasps> My, like, my heart skips a beat, man. Majestic again. Holy smokes. So we are... Look at this box. I was just complaining about this box. What an amazing box opening to start the series off. My goodness. Four, three. Oh, my God. Wow. Commotion. Foil. Majestic. Flipping rare and rare. What do we got left? We still, look at this box, it's so ridiculous. Are you kidding? 
four Majestics, two Foil Majestic, a flipping Cold Foil Majestic. This is an incredible start, man. My God. Oh, beautiful Miss Dorinthia hiding up front there. And Rushing River, beautiful foil on the rare there. And, of course, Promise of Plenty and Cindering. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is one of the better crew boxes I've seen open in, honestly, a long time. Holy crap, what an epic one. Foil Common, Predatory Assault, Russian River, and a Dauntless. Man, what a good one, man. Absolutely wild. Here we go. Into the close, folks. Sleep Dart for the Foil Common. Crane Dance, and of course, Hamid Eyes, Kadachi for the rares. Whew. I cannot believe we hit a flipping gambler's glove and we have this many majestics in one video. That's nuts, man. Meet and greet for the foil common. And of course, we got the skies for the nice rare and promise of plenty. Man. Ooh, that pack, this pack opened real easy. Not like there's any, we already got the cold. Well, maybe we can get a double cold foil. You never know. Like I said, well, I've seen many boxes now with doubles. Brutal assaults for the nice foil common. Ooh, look at that, folks. Rattle Bones for the Room Blade Majestic. Excellent, excellent card, by the way. The Towering Titan, that's always a powerhouse. With its flipping nine cost. Oh, Rattle Bones. Great Majestic if you're a huge fan of the old uh, Room Blade. Look how many... Is this, this might be... I think this has got to be the most Majestics I've ever seen in a single box opening. Has anybody seen more Majestics in this? This is nuts, man. Nice Rune Chant token. And Edge of Autumn, there it is for the rare... And high speed impact for the rare. We got three packs left. I I don't think I've ever heard of a box having my five eight majestics in it. Holy smokes, that's crazy. Push forward for the common. And of course, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Unified decree for warrior. Another majestic. Oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> what is going on in this video? Are you kidding me? Beautiful skies for the foil rare. Cash in and of course, Dauntless. Oops, sorry. Foil rares up there. Alright, very last pack of the video. We are wrapping it up for the day. We're losing our lighting. starting to get dark here and the weather's getting worse. What an amazing... Oh, emerging dominance for the common. And of course, a promise of plenty in cindering again. Three, six... Unbel six Majestics, two Majestic Foils, and a Cold Foil Majestic. Wow. Well, George, what a way to kick off a series. of. Uh, we got a total of, I believe, 16 boxes. So that's one out of 16 for today, everybody. And uh, like I said, we're going to spread it out. I'm thinking probably about one a week, one of every, every other week. Because I figured if we have 15 more boxes, and we've got two weeks in February... All of March, all of April, that's six, yeah, so I'd say, so that's six weeks, so, yeah, I'd say one a week is good. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.